In this episode, I'm gonna create a system that generates a wide variety of villagers for my town building game. Hi, I'm Ubanga and I'm developing a game where you build a town on a tiny planet that can be played in VR. So far, I made the system to generate the planets, move around and place buildings on it. If you're interested in those kind of things, please check out my other episodes. Now it's time to add some life in this game by creating some villagers. The plan for this episode is to settle on a look for the villagers, come up with a system to randomly generate them by mixing and matching body parts and colors, figuring out how to do rigging and basic animations, and then implement it all in Unity. Lately, I've been playing a game called Good Company. It's a really fun game where you build a little factory. I really like the way the factory workers look, but what most inspired me is the way they are randomized. They have three different body types per gender, a small thick one, a medium strong one, and a tall slender one. Each body has a bunch of different hair and clothing styles. And then by randomizing the clothing, skin and hair colors, they can create a bunch of different NPCs with a relatively low effort. I think this will be a nice jumping off point for creating my own villagers. So recreating one of these good company NPCs and uh, working from there to make it my own. So I took a couple of screenshots from the character creation menu in the game as reference and started modeling in Blender. Once that was done, I had to rig the model, which basically means adding bones so that it can move. And then I added a couple of simple animations. I proceeded by loading it all in Unity and added the character to the surface of the planet next to some buildings and trees. And I kinda hate it actually. It doesn't really fit with the style of the other models and it would be really hard to click on from a distance. But at the very least, I learned what I don't like. So for my second attempt, I decided to go for more of a funk up direction. With a small body and a big head that's easy to see and easy to click on from above. I fired up Blender again and started messing around until I found something that I liked. I had to start over multiple times and halfway through it got kind of frustrating. But after a day or so, I ended up with this guy that I really like, so it was all worth it in the end. Some of his defining features are a big head that's a little bit square with basically no face, just these little dots as eyes. The body is super simple with noodly limbs and these fin shaped arms with basically no hands. Then I had to rig my model so I can animate it. A rig is basically a bone structure and if you move one of those bones, a corresponding part of the mesh moves with it. You could create a rig from scratch, but for this purpose I used a meta human rig that comes with Blender. I edited the proportions of the bones so it fits over my model. I used a Blender plugin that converts a meta rig into a rig that Unity sees as a human avatar. This allows me to use the same animations for different human rigs. This could be handy in case I want different sized villagers, for example children, or want to redo my models but don't want to redo my animations. I automatically assigned the rig to the model and I did a pretty good job of telling which part of the model should move with which bone, but I had to go into weight painting mode to fix a couple of issues here and there. For my animations, I decided to use Blender because it has some cool features that I don't think Unity has. For example, copying a pose and pasting it mirrored. This way, I only need to do half of my walk cycle. The other half I can just simply mirror. To create a walk cycle, I used these reference images and basically recreated all these keyframes. For an idle animation, I basically just make them shift their weight, like they're just standing, and make them look around a little bit.
To create some variation in characters, I duplicated the body and altered it to give it a more feminine shape. I then created some clothing items for both the male and female body by selecting parts of the already rigged and animated body, duplicating that into a new object and altering the mesh a little bit. I then added the solidify modifier to add some thickness to it. I don't know if this is the best way to create clothing, but it works pretty well in most cases. Although I might have to come back to this crop top because it looks a little bit weird when walking. I took a similar approach to create a bunch of different hairstyles as well, most of which can be used for both genders. For now I ended up with two pants and tops for the guys and three pants and tops for the girls. For the men, I also added four different facial hairstyles. And for the women, I added a pair of lips. These will have a random chance of being added. Now that I'm done with Blender, I can go into Unity to create a script to mix and match body parts and pick random colors. To keep my code clean and have all the options in the same place, I created a scriptable object for the villager options. This contains all the different meshes, as well as lists of the colors those meshes can be. When a new villager is spawned, a villager generator script is called, it will randomly pick a gender and assign the right body mesh. It picks colors from each of the lists of skin, hair, mouth, shirt and shoe colors. It then randomly assigns the hair and an outfit. And then for the guys there's a chance they will have facial hair and it will pick whatever that will be. And for the girls there's the chance that they have full lips. It's pretty hard to take a good look at the characters when they are on the surface of the planet. So I created a little test scene where I could take a closer look at the models and their animations. And I'm really happy with this. This is starting to look really cute and it fits the style of my world perfectly. So much better than the first attempt if you compare them next to each other. I took these lists of 2000 most popular names for boys and girls in 2021 and assigned a random name to a villager when they spawn. If there is a name that you would like to see added to this list, please leave a comment with a maximum of 3 names per viewer. I will add all non-offensive surnames that are submitted before next month's video to the list. Oh and also let me know if it's a boy name, a girl name or both. Last episode, I implemented the info panel. When you click on an entity, you get a little pop-up window with some information and an image. But now I have these randomly generated villagers without images. So to fix that, I'm gonna create a virtual photo boot that takes an image when a new villager is spawned. I create a new camera with a bunch of lights that are moved far away from my planet, so it's out of the way. When a new villager is spawned, I spawn it in front of the camera. I then randomly set the cycle offset of their idle animation, just so that they all look a different direction in the picture. And tell the thumbnail camera to set itself and the lights to active and take a picture at the end of the frame. The thumbnail camera renders to a new render texture that gets saved as a PNG and gets added to the entity info. And as a last step I turn off the camera and the lights again. And there you have it, random villagers from a town building game. I'm really pleased with how they look. I'm not really sure about some of the clothing and the hairstyles, but I think this is a strong foundation and I can always come back to change a bunch of stuff and add some things to it. Let me know if you want me to do another tutorial on how I made these villagers in Blender and Unity uh, and how I did the procedural generation. I enjoyed doing the last tutorial on how I made the VR hands. And even though that video is 50 minutes long, a lot of you guys seem to watch it all the way through to the end, so that's really motivating for me to maybe do another one. Next episode, I'll be working on pathfinding for these villagers. So subscribe so you don't miss it, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave a comment with what names the villagers should get. See you next time, bye!